How's it going right there, eh? It's Denis here from Denis Lozi Outdoors. Uh, back up at the woodlot at the pad for the off-grid cabin. And uh, pretty well almost got it done. Uh, probably that'll be it for this year. Um, the road is getting really, really soupy. Um, we've had just a little bit of rain and some frost. Um, like you can tell there and then all the towards the corduroy the corduroy part is not too bad but either side of it um, where I didn't corduroy it it's really getting bad I can make it through but I'm just ripping the road all up so it looks like it's a little low right in here and then actually I do have to dig uh, a trench in the front and put a kind of a retaining wall. I'm not really sure exactly the location of that, so I'll probably wait till next year. And then also on this end, I wanted to put a big rock stone foundation and uh, like a bump out. And that's where someday I may put a, uh, a stone boulder uh, fireplace on this, this end of the log cabin portion of it. Um, yeah, so I do still have to <clears throat> fill in kind of this end here with some good material. Um, I didn't want to close this right off because then I can't drive around. Um, that little corner stake right there, that's kind of like where the future garage shed attached uh, is going to be. So eventually I do have to put a row of rocks. And then on this end here, I don't think I'm going to put any rocks. I'm just going to backfill it with gravel and leave it kind of heaped up. Kind of over there where that chair is. That's just on the other side of that chair, actually. Um, that's where I'm going to put my outdoor uh, kitchen, which will be uh, like logs on the bottom, probably about four feet high and uh, like a log cabin. And then I'm going to put... Uh, at least four vertical posts, cedar posts, and then a roof on top of that. So what I was hoping is I was gonna do that first, so then I would get some practice on my joinery um, before I start the cabin. So it looks like it's fairly level. Um, I do have to put a little bit more gravel on the end all around where the boulders are, and I like to hump it up leave it uh, kind of heaped up in the middle. I would have liked to have done that this winter and then just let it settle. But, uh, you know, I may still be able to do that. If everything freezes up, I may be able to do that. It might work out all right. Come back. Um, if not, um, what I'll do is I'll probably come in here and do some grubbing and ripping all this stuff up and clear, clear this out um, so that either this winter well this winter for sure i'm going to be hauling cedar from across the lake and i'm going to build like a rack i was going to put the cedar on the other side where that kitchen was going to be but i think it may be better to put it down here because then i can uh, maybe haul the mill right in here we'll see um i'll try to figure that out i'm going to flatten this out maybe i'll put the mill here and then i can haul the logs individually and then roll them down right onto the deck of the, the mill. I'm not sure exactly how, how I'm going to do that. Anyhow, so uh, I got a couple more rocks. I'm going to kind of pick and choose some little flat, flatter ones and uh, then I'll mound that up a little bit. Yeah, so that turned out pretty good. The old stuff I got to get rid of. It was a little breezy today. The wind was just howling all day. Uh, this is not a big lake. And uh, <clears throat> there was white caps out there today. You see it's all foamy. Yeah, so this is my boat slip or boat launch. Um, I'm hoping in a day or two I'm picking up uh, three pontoons. Because they're going to have a pontoon boat slash deck wharf made. And then I can just uh, have an outboard on it, drive it in out of here, and then somehow I'm going to anchor it out here somewhere.
Yeah, so that's how that's gonna look like um, once all of those stumps and that's all grubbed out of there. My plan or what my vision was, I guess, was that when you're on the lake or you're down here looking um, with the bottom terrace, boulder terrace, and the above one, it'll look like one whole uh, rock wall, but it'll, it's actually two. And someday I may have another one someday, so there'll be three. Anyhow. Let me try to zoom that in a little bit. Um, once we get some rain and uh, all the dirt washes off, those boulders should look a lot better. And then, like I was saying, this will be all dressed up, grubbed up, ripped up, and then a retaining wall is going to loop out around like a big circle. Yeah, right where that blue rock is, it's going to loop right over to this big rock. And then tape feather off and taper right here. This will be all filled in with good material so I can drive right in, park, and then I'll have like a little roadway boat launch that I can drive right down there, then back up if I want to put a boat in the water. Yeah, I'm quite pleased the way that turned out. I'm going to say these rocks will get cleaned up a little bit. See, most of the leaves are all off the mountain right now, all the hardwood. That goes quite a ways. Anyhow, I won't uh, drag this out any longer. If you think of it, like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching. That's the end there, eh?